Hi, artsy friends, Tristina Dietz Elms here, and I wanted to share with you a fun project using Pebio's acrylic markers. You see here I'm using Pebio's red marker, and I'm doing a watercolor wet on wet technique, but these are actually acrylic markers. They're not just watercolor markers, although you see the nice, beautiful spreading and the way you can put water down and then bleed some of the color right into it and use your little watercolor brush with it in order to get it to spread. Now I'm using some light orange and going in to establish those orange areas of the leaf. This is a croton leaf that's from my garden, and I just thought the colors, the fall colors, were so beautiful that I wanted to share it with you. Now notice I added a little bit of red to that yellow, and that helped to deepen the color. And here I'm using two colors of green. I'm using the plain green and the emerald green so that I can get a little bit of deeper color coming in. And I'm combining and uh, feathering and doing all kinds of blending and mixing with those colors. Now I had a little bit too much water on there, so you see I was able to use a cloth and soak that back up. And then just go back in with the red marker and the green marker and add some more depth to the color. And you'll notice here as I go that in fact I am constantly adding a little more green, a little more orange, a little more yellow, a little more water, a little more red, <laughs> um, because I'm deepening the color. Now on the stem, I used a little bit of black just to darken it. And now I'm gonna go back in and again, deepen the green color. After it dries, you can deepen it a little bit by coming back in again, because the color, since it's acrylic, is permanent once it's dry. Now I'm gonna bring in some shadowing. So I just got that area wet and I'm starting with a light violet and going in with a little bit of cyan and then I'll finish it up with some of the deep violet. But again, I put some water down first and then put the color so I'm able to spread that color. And there's a light shadow on the other side. And then I'm gonna come in and highlight with a gold. It's called Precious Gold Marker. I love the gold marker. So here is the finished leaf, and I hope you enjoyed that quick video. Thanks for watching.